So in this video, we'll be talking about setting up the emergency button alarm within my CNC. If you're unfamiliar with uh, how to edit hardware PLCs or how to navigate the my CNC settings in general, this video will also cover a little bit of that, so stick around. So first of all, what do we want to happen when we're pressing the emergency alarm button? For example, on our uh, dashboard for our CNC panel. Well, first of all, we want any and all motion to stop immediately. So that may be motion from our G code program that we have, or it may be motion from jogging, etc. So we want all of that motion to stop immediately. And second of all, we also want to perhaps have some very simple commands to uh, run some simple actions the moment that uh, the emergency button is pressed. So for example, uh, we may want to power off the servo drivers or maybe to switch off the coolant or airflow to our machine. And these actions are configurable and the user can edit them by editing the hardware PLC that's associated with the emergency stop button press. To find that PLC, you can navigate to your settings in your main menu, into the config tab right here, PLC, hardware PLC, and then to this first entry in the PLC sources list, which is called EST. So as you can see here, I already have a hardware PLC with some code here by default. This will come with your profile. However, this is uh, very easy to edit and you can edit, edit it on your own to make sure this actually satisfies your requirements. So if you, we look at the uh, current PLC that I have here, it basically contains the command to set my DC to zero volts uh, and then to turn off some outputs for example, my uh, spindle output, both for my uh, clockwise and counterclockwise spindle rotation. And then uh, it sets the states within the software. So, uh, for example, it tells the software that the flood state is currently zero. So the software knows we're not uh, currently running any sort of a flood flow. And then last uh, line here, we have a proc variable which will uh, simply be used for something like displaying the current state of the machine on the main screen. So uh, this simply tells the uh, software that the machine is currently idle after pressing the emergency button. Again, none of this is, strictly speaking, necessary. Uh, you may have a completely different sort of a lay layout. Perhaps you are turning off your plasma power source and this will have an output plasma instead or perhaps you don't need some of this uh, state section here. And you can edit it simply by adding or removing lines. So in our example, what we'll do is we will also add a simple line to clear one single port by writing in port clear, and then let's say port clear seven. So what we expect to happen when we press the emergency button is that along all these other buttons this output number seven will be cleared or turned off by the MyCNC software. After you're done editing this you can press the save all, build all and send buttons to reflash the disk image and save this PLC and then you can set up the actual input for the emergency alarm. That can be done by going into the inputs output sensors tab within the same settings and going into alarms right here. Here I already have my emergency button tied to input number 28 which is assigned to be normally opened. So the input number is fairly straightforward. That's simply the input to which my button is connected on my controller, which happens to be input number 28. And the normally opened versus normally closed sensor type 
simply states that when I'm not pressing the button, this will be off, and when I press the button, this input will be on. Uh, the reason you would like to specify it is because you can also edit this uh, standard behavior through your common hardware settings, where you can flip the uh, default state of that input or output, perhaps, uh, to be on or off by default. However, in my case, this uh, input number 28 is typically off. So, in my alarms, I set it to be normally opened. After you've edited and saved, and then perhaps restarted the software, uh, you can try running your emergency button. So, if we remember, we have this output 7, which we expect to turn off whenever we press the emergency button. So, let's turn it on for now and check if it works. We're going to run this program. And here I have the uh, button, which I'm going to be pressing right now. So we have this emergency button pressed, pop-up window that immediately comes onto the screen. And if we navigate to our diagnostics window, we can also see that output number 7 has now been turned off. Alright, so now we know that the EST hardware PLC works and uh, turns off the necessary ports. Now a small uh, note here is that uh, for some people um, it is also necessary to add additional motion commands uh, to your stopping section. So for example if you are uh, pressing the stop button you'd like to for example, raise the spindle up and move it somewhere on your machine, etc, etc. Uh, this should not be added to the EST command, again, simply because it essentially boils down to a very simple uh, stop the motion and turn everything off, rather than uh, add additional motion steps. And if you'd like to have some sort of a uh, process for regular machine stops, so not in an emergency, we recommend that you go and edit the MO2 and the off commands. And we have a manual on that in our documentation. However, for the EST emergency alarm, we recommend that you keep this as short as possible and as simple as possible to simply turn off everything that you need to turn off and to stop the machine from moving. I hope this covers the basics of uh, emergency alarms in MyCNC. If you require any more information, please visit our documentation at docs.pvautomation.com. Thank you for watching.